Alright. My Little Pony, Tales of Equestria. For real this time. <laughs> yep, it is 6 in the a.m. My cat is already up. The dog will be next wanting out. And then everybody else is going to get up. So i got to do this fairly quickly. However, this time I have marked pages. And I'm going to try and do a a slightly better review this time. I'm thinking maybe this one's going to go up on YouTube first as kind of an experiment. It is somewhat early in the a.m. Got my coffee. And there's all the miniatures that I still haven't started painting. i got to finish this guy before the week is out. He's been patiently waiting for me to finish painting him. But anyway... Uh, Tales of Equestria. Yeah, I was just randomly in a store and I saw this on a shelf and I says, Really? I laughed about it, but I was curious. Uh, I've seen like one half of a single episode of this, so I've never... I, I'm not a... I think the word is brony. Um, that's like a, a fan of My Little Ponies that is a guy. I think is what that is. I don't know. Not one of those guys, but I'm always interested in the weird and the strange when it comes to the role-playing games. And, uh, well, I'm sorry. Storytelling game. <laughs> I read this, and spoiler alert, it's actually pretty decent. I like it. Okay. Let's see what I've marked first. Ugh. Ah, oh, yeah, things you need. Uses polyhedral dice. All those nice bright colors to help kids identify the dice that they're rolling quickly. And a lot of different things going on here. I like the artwork in this. Uh, some of it is from the show. And some of it is made specifically for this book. And I saw a reviewer who was actually doing this, and he was saying that the differences in the styles were jarring. I don't find it that way at all. It's pretty good for something like this. So, creating your pony character, you get to choose between three pony kinds. Uh, Earth Pony is strong and brave. A Pegasus can fly. A Unicorn can use magic. And that's basically it. There's just three to choose from, but you don't really need much more, frankly. Um, we got Elements of Harmony. And these basically uh, determine your personality or help, too. And, and this is, uh, you get to choose between being a strong or brainy pony. And uh, all of the, the stats in this game, um, charms, uh, body, mind, basically <laughs> Physical, mental, social, if you think about it. <laughs> A few World of Darkness fans out there. Uh, they're all represented by a D. Uh, D8, D6, D4. And uh, it's kind of neat how that works. Go into quirks and portraits and cutie marks and friendship tokens and cutie mark if you're wondering is um, the talent that you're best at uh, think of it as like a tag skill from Torg it's like the one skill that you're like super good at uh, quirks are like uh, problems you have to overcome in your own personality I suppose is the best way to describe it uh, it's not necessarily a personality thing. Is among the quirks is um, like allergies is is one of them. But 
I think that page is marked somewhere. And skip through all this. Yeah, friendship. Friendship is like... Uh, I'll tell you what. You get... This is an interesting little mechanic. Okay. So, you get friendship. How much friendship do you get at the beginning? Well, it's based on how many people are playing the game. Now, get this. You say you got... Uh, three people in the game. Uh, everybody gets three friendship tokens. Uh, you get four people in the game. Everybody gets four friendship tokens. This includes the, uh, the, the narrator or storyteller. I forget what they call them in this game, but... Yeah, so... These allow you to do, um, neat little things... It's like uh, one friendship token, you give it to the GM, and you can ignore the result of the die roll, and you get two, and it does something similar, only it's, uh, you could roll a d20, and it, you roll a, th if you give three tokens, you could just win the challenge automatically. Just So, the more people that are playing the game, literally, the more of these you get. So you could, you have more people to do more stuff, and more friendship tokens to to do more things. It's it's not like any mechanic I've ever seen in any any role playing game, uh, but it makes sense in the context of this one. I kind of think it's kind of neat. Ah, uh, tests and challenges. Typically, you're rolling your 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 die. Um, for your uh, your tests are based on your attributes, um, which I forget what they call them in this game, uh, and your challenges I think are based on like your your talents, and it has a similar well right here you're rolling against a difficulty, um, and it has kind of a die chain kind of feel to it. Like, you could go up or down the die chain, depending on on situations. It's kind of neat. Amazing success. If you go twice the difficulty, you've just done it super well. If you roll a 1, uh, very likely if you have a d4 in something. If you roll a 1, the, the Game Master gets to decide what happens, and it's usually not... not a good thing, but if I were a game master of this game, I would just make it like something amusing would happen. Nothing serious. Your sword doesn't break. Not that anybody uses swords in this game. Uh, let's see. What am I looking at? Uh, upgrading and downgrading. I was just talking about the die chain situation. Uh, this game has some interesting critters in it. <laughs> Horse flies. <laughs> oh, um, get used to horse puns in this game. Uh, I love puns, but oh my goodness, there's a lot of puns, of horse puns in this one. Ah, this is the quirks. Allergy, asthma, blunt, bossy, fear, forgetful. It's just interesting little things. These are the kind of things that I enjoy in a game. Is I don't always want to play a, a perfect character. Sometimes your flaws make you interesting. You have to overcome them. Uh, let's see. What do we got going on? Ah, the pet predicament. This adventure, I've read it. Um, it starts out... You're tasked with uh, watching the pets of the main characters of the show. So these these guys, these are all the main characters of the show. And uh, you're watching their pets while they go off on their own little adventure. And things go sideways. And uh, all the pets get scattered and you have to go looking for them. And that's when the adventure really starts. It's a Cute little adventure. Some interesting um, 
kind of puzzles in, in some cases, because there's ways you could win in this game, which is, this is the way it should be in this game, is uh, you don't have to get into a scuffle. <laughs> Notice the word scuffle I used. There's no combat in this game. They're called scuffles. And uh, nobody dies, which is appropriate. Uh, they just get knocked out. Because this game is obviously for kids. But uh, I'd play it. It's got a solid system. It just seems it seems like it works. Um, if I could find a group of people that would play it just for the uh, adventure on the inside, I'd I'd run it. Uh, yeah, I like this game. Uh, let's see, did I mark any more pages? No, no. Oh, oh, I didn't mark the page. Somewhere in here, there is a map of Equestria. Oh, look at all that stuff. That stuff you could get. There's your pony sheet. Somewhere in here there is a map of Equestria. I wish I had marked it because it is such a neat map. Oh! Oh, I did mark it. That was an index card. Look at this. I love this map. They have a starter kit uh, that has um, an adventure called Curse of the Statuette, which is actually a continuation of the pet predicament in this book. In fact, there's like a little cliffhanger in here um, that leads right into the uh, Curse of the Statuette. I don't have the starter de uh, starter the starter box set, so I don't have that adventure. But I would like to pick it up and see if it has a fold-out map of that, um, uh, of that, of Equestria. Yeah, this is a cute game. Um, this is a game best for, like, parents to play with their kids. This would be a very good... Baby's first role-playing game. <laughs> Maybe not babies. I forgot what the age um, is for this one, but I'm sure um, very young kids, maybe age 8 and up, probably could play this game with their parents. Um, this would be a good game for adults, too, who are fans of the show, because I hear that there are actually some hardcore fans um, of this show, uh, one of these days I'm going to have to sit down and watch it, because it looks cute, it looks fun, I think I'd, I'd probably like it, because I, I like cartoons, I still watch cartoons, and I prefer cartoons to, to, <laughs> to actual regular shows, I guess you would say, <laughs> oh dear, what's wrong with me, but yeah, uh, I like it, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but as an experiment, uh, I think I did say I was going to post this to YouTube first, just to see how it, how that works out. I think I'd like a little beta thing for, like, um, editing your videos. I'm going to see if I can't work that out. So, I think that about does it for My Little Pony Tales of Equestria. Uh, y'all have a good day, so long for the from the uh, RPG archivist <laughs>